All right, so let's start looking at how do we use spreadsheets. And uh, we could do any spreadsheet. I'm just gonna start off, I guess we'll stick with Excel. We'll go to Excel. I'm gonna create a blank workbook. And first thing to know is that spreadsheets are created by having columns. So here we have columns, just like you have in the front of a building, columns right here, right? And these are rows, just like you would have in like, you know, the Hollywood Bowl or concert stadium. These are rows. So columns, rows. And if you have the intersection of a column and a row, then this little area right there is considered a cell. That is a cell. And every cell has an address. So that address there is E4, E4. And in fact, if we look to this address bar area right here, it tells us you are in E4. And then whatever cell we click on, that's called the active cell. So one little thing I do for my students in the classroom is I say, hey, what cell is this? What cell is this? What cell is this? And that would be cell C3. We could confirm that. C3. This would be cell B6. B6. And that's really important when we start writing formulas to do math. We could just click and start typing anywhere to enter data into Excel. So I could enter store 1, store 2. And uh, as I type that, you'll notice, uh, okay, I've got a pattern there. And Excel can recognize patterns. So if I do one, two, three, what's the next? Four, right? I can highlight that, and then I can grab, notice how this little selected area highlighted multiple cells. That selected area has this little square right there. And when I go over that square, I get this different kind of, my cursor turns into a different thing. It's a black plus. I drag it and I grab, and it just automatically completes the pattern for me. So it doesn't matter what my pattern is, it will generally recognize it, right? And it'll complete the pattern for you. And uh, I could do that even with months, right? January, February, highlight the months, ba -da -da -da, right? Five, six, there we go. So it completed my month. So that's just a little time saver. It's called autofill, autofill. And uh, now I'm going to enter some data here. So I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna format this area because I'm gonna have total here. Now I'll do tax and then I'll do total. So first of all, I'm going to format this area right here where my numbers are going to go. I'm going to highlight that area, just left click and drag, and then release the left mouse button. And then I'm going to right click that. I'm going to choose format cells, format cells. And I'm going to format, when I get format cells, I have different options, number, alignment, font, border, fill, production. I'm going to go with number. I'm going to say that what the whatever I enter in these cells will be a currency. It'll have a dollar sign. I could choose any kind of symbol for currency that's in the world, pretty much. And uh, I'll have two decimal places. And my negatives will look like that. Okay, there we go. Now I can start entering numbers. 12, 14, 15, 13, 14, 15, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 10, 10, 9, 10, 10. All right. Boop. That would be if I had three stores. So let me actually shift this down one. We'll go three stores and we'll complete this pattern to three. And we will format this last row since I just added that. Format cells as currency. Kabang! There we go. All right, now I need to uh, uh, add tax. I need to add tax and I need to get my total. Um, I'm just thinking about how to show this to you. What's the best way to do it? All right, so. Uh, uh, let's do total before tax, and then we'll do tax and oops, and uh, tax on total, and then total with tax. All right, we're going to do those, which means that this last row right here, I need to format that also as currency. Kabang! All right, so total before tax. I need to add up those numbers up above. All right, so one way you can do that, every formula in Excel starts with an equal sign. So I type equal, and I could say, and some people do this, and this is the wrong way to do it, 12 plus 8 plus 10. There we go, 30. 12 plus 8 plus 10 is 30. Well, the problem with that is what if I go, oh, this is supposed to be 9. This did not just update. I'd have to actually go into that formula, double-click it, and enter a 9, and then press Enter, and then it would update. That's the wrong way to do it. The right way to do it is to press equal to start a formula and then click on the cell reference. So I want to add up that, and that's cell G4, G4, plus I hit the plus sign, the operator, and then I click that. That's my next operand, and then plus, and then I click that, 
And now I've got cell G4 plus G5 plus G6. I'm adding up whatever is in those cells. I press enter. And uh, now when I change this number, right, my total automatically changes because whatever is in those cells gets added up. That's what I wrote in this formula where it's G4 plus G5 plus G6. So that's how you write a formula. And if you want to see your formulas, you could go to formulas right here and show formulas. And now I could see my formulas, right? That's formula view. And I could check show formulas and it comes back off. Show formulas, show formulas, show formulas. All right, so if I ever want to see all my formulas, I just click show formulas and it shows them to me. So that's how you write a formula in Excel. Uh, and I'm going to stop here and then we'll continue in the next video.